Hello there and welcome to Limbo, one of the critically acclaimed games from 2010 that's recently been released on the Xbox One console. The game can be purchased for £7.99, but is it worth it? Does it stand up today? Does it still have the same impact? What was so special about it? Let's find out. Well, one of the standout things at the time was the graphics of the game. It's entirely set in black and white, and there's a heavy film grain that goes throughout. It all helps to create a really eerie atmosphere, and the game really is pretty, with most stuff in the foreground and background beautifully layered, adding a unique style to Limbo. But the looks wouldn't be considered to be a best-selling feature in today's market. This is a shame, because the game is all about the atmosphere, with the soundtrack as well. It's a mix between ambient noises and silence, and it really is unsettling while playing. The sounds in the game can also be key to solving some of the game's puzzles, which can get a bit hard later on. You'll find yourself easing through most of the puzzles at the start, with only things like renegade rocks being challenges. As a first time player, you're probably just going to die and then have to redo it with the foresight of what the trap ahead is. As a returning player, unless you've got a rubbish memory like myself, you'll probably get along fine and get through the game's relatively short length within only about one hour to two. The controls are incredibly simple, there's only running, jumping and the action button, and they're all perfectly responsive. This helps a lot when the puzzles get harder later on in the game, where dying a lot is probably commonplace for everyone. There are a lot of achievements in the game, one of them is to complete it in one sitting with only dying less than five times. This is impossible, or at least it is for me. Most of the other achievements are quite easily attainable, you could probably get about 900 gamer score in one playthrough. As long as you know what you're doing anyway. Most of the stuff are just kept in trees or in the bottom of the lift shafts. So there's nothing that really stands out for Limbo as a must-buy factor. What with most other games having similar quality platforming and probably better graphics. What about the story then? Well at first glance, you probably won't think there is a story. There aren't any other characters in the game. There's no plot in text form or anything. Everything's just told through the art style the eerie atmosphere of the game and the name itself, leading me to think that perhaps it's like some sort of purgatory and the main character has to travel throughout this horrible world to reach a heaven or an ultimate goal, which I won't spoil. As you can see, the game is full of a lot of dying, or at least there is for me again. For newcomers, it probably is worth buying the game. Dying aside, there's a lot of fun to be had and doing the puzzles for the first time can be really rewarding. For everyone else though, it's probably worth waiting for the next game by Playdead Studios, who make Limbo. It's called Inside. The game is said to be a spiritual successor to Limbo. The game has its own unique art style, and hopes to have a similar uniqueness to the puzzles. If it can do that, and increase the variety and perhaps length of the game, though not at the expense of new ideas, then Inside will be the standout game. As such, Limbo is only really for people who've not played it before, or die-hard fans impatiently awaiting the spiritual successor. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the rambling, please don't hesitate to subscribe.